All right, so where was I? Okay, so the butterfly, uh, seriously, the, the idea behind it is that the butterfly, you know, these two small flaps and these two big flaps on the bottom. Same with the, the buttocks. It's kind of, once you get all these points, that's why this one half, there's an extra one half then compared to the, the front side is because it, it's got a, a little bigger below, you know, there's more more mass there and in the front so the buttocks so that same idea of the butterflies there's kind of a flap which is your gluteus minimus that doesn't sound right gluteus minimus but anyways the smaller the, the gluteus muscles so then you have these two kind of flaps like that and then the gluteus maximus which is the bigger muscle that kind of sits just like that and then from there you know you have it kind of wraps under the other muscle of the so there you go so there's the gluteus maximus minimus and it kind of just it'll wrap under the leg muscles which you won't worry about the legs right now but as you can see and then the great trochanter that I mentioned before is actually this muscle that's on the side of the leg so so pretty much that's the back which it's really complicated, but I'll do another one again, just more simple, just to show kind of. Oh yeah, this muscle here, it's like this M shape, but just remember the M shape's really important. I recommend if you're ever going to draw the back to start with the, the M shape here because from there everything else can, once again, you know, just by doing proportions from the M shape down. Another head length to the in between the two external oblique is where the belly button would be on the front. So that's that's how you know. And then of course the other third proportion is the bottom of this, and then the one half, which is the gluteus maximus. There we go. Hope it helps. And once, once again, just to reiterate, I'll draw it really simple again, just from scratch. So, so that's your M shape. There's the M shape there. Remember, your, the shoulder blades are under this. You have your trapezius, kind of goes like that. Muscle goes to the neck. I'm just going to do the outline this time, that way you can see it clear and it's not so many lines. Here's your trapeze, the deltoid wraps around. Major. Minor, terrace, major, terrace, minor. You see, they line up on that M line. And this kind of just is muscle. Platysimus dorsi comes down. I'm not worried about proportions right now, it's just more so within these muscles. This is dorsi, external oblique. You have those two little skinny muscles, kind of like little worm shapes, just that sit right between the two. This is dorsi and the the spine. Why is it dark all of a sudden? It ends here. Kind of this muscle that divides everything. And then once again, gluteus minimus, gluteus maximus. There you go. That's a really simplified 
version of it. This is the spine. All these dark areas are like where the, the spinal cord would be to help clear it up. So that's that, that line we talked about. That, that whole spinal line, you know, the axis. So once again, just like with the front, just get these muscles down. And I really would get the, the books by, by Baron Hogarth because they they do the muscles perfect. This this is a bad drawing compared to how they do it, but trapezes once again, terrace major, terrace minor, the deltoid, latissimus dorsi, these two muscles, sternus oblique, gluteus minus, gluteus maximus, and that's pretty much all the back muscles. All right, thanks.